Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Princess and I make videos about beauty, hair, makeup, fashion. So today we are talking about the most important thing next to God, which is hygiene. We're gonna be focusing on the shower and the after shower routine that's gonna have you smelling so delicious all day long. How to smell literally like a warm vanilla cookie all day long. I love vanilla scents. I love lavender scents. I love a lot of citrus and sweet scents. So if that's what you're into, then this is the video for you. Let's get started. Here are my tips and tricks on how to make sure that you are smelling good and fresh all day long. This is also perfect for my girlies who are going back to school. You want to make sure you are smelling good from the beginning of the day till the end of the day, okay? First things first, we want to start off with how we wash our bodies. So I like to use two body washes, one that's honestly just like a regular body wash or soap, and then another one that's corrective. So I start off with my, I start off with my raw sugar moisture loving body wash. My sister put me onto this body wash. I absolutely love it. I really will wash my body three times. So the first one is kind of just a rinse off. The second one is kind of where we get the African net sponge because you need something that's exfoliating your skin. You want to get African net sponge or you want to get like exfoliating gloves. I use both, honestly, interchangeably. And I wash my body for the second time. And then the third time I go in with my Natrium. This is the Perfector Salicylic Acid Body Wash. And this is because I have back acne. Well, I used to have back acne, but now I have that back acne scarring. And this has really been helping to like clear that up and... I know it's gonna take some time, so I'm not really in any rush, but I've definitely seen a big difference in like my back acne fading off. So I use this as my third wash. Make sure you're washing behind your ears, your belly button. You're just scrubbing hard. You wanna scrub off all that dirt off your body. And right after that, we're gonna go into um, exfoliating. So me personally, I like to use a body scrub every single day. I like making sure that dead skin is not on my body. So every time I shower, I use a body scrub. I don't use anything that's too harsh, obviously, because using a body scrub every day is kind of crazy to some people. So it's actually a daily scrub. This is also from Raw Sugar, which is the same brand as the body wash. This is their daily micro scrub salt polish. It has Himalayan salt, hyaluronic acid, which we all know is great for our skin, and coconut oil. So I use this in the shower. This is the Shea and Rice flower scent like once you use the body scrub you can feel your skin like feeling kind of moisturizing like it's weird if you're like weird about texture you might not like it but i love it because then i know that my skin is like getting moisture and like nourishment straight off the bat with the scrub so after that you want to go in with a clean towel the towel holds a lot of bacteria so i like to switch out my towels like every three to four days so after that, you want to go with a scented body lotion. Everything from here now is scented, okay? I don't play about my scents. So I use a scented body lotion, the Josie Moran body butter and lavender citrus. This is an extra, extra large. You guys don't understand. I love Josie Moran. Everything in her body care line, when it comes to body butters and creams, I trust with my life. Looking for something that's a little bit more aff affordable. The Old Faithful is always the user in line. That one is really good if you want your body to feel really, really moisturized. And I'm gonna like kind of leave that right here for you to see what I'm talking about. Now let's get into the fun parts. I love to go in with two layers of body oil. So while my body is just fully doused in a body cream or body butter, I like to lock all that moisture in with my first layer of body oil. So this is Dr. Teal's Moisturizing Bath and Body Oil in the scent Lavender. So I'll use this. And body oils are great because they really do help your skin get a more even skin tone. They obviously give your skin a really nice sheen and glow. Literally, people ask me all the time, like, what are you using to get your body so shiny? And I always just tell them, oh, it's just body oil. Like, it's nothing crazy. <laughs> but this body oil in particular, I've noticed, really does give, like, a really nice just glow to your skin. And it's also been helping with evening out my skin tone. But it has jojoba oil, sweet almond oil, and aloe vera. And it's very nutrit nutritious. <laughs> it's very <laughs> it's very moisturizing, very nurturing to your skin. So you want to go in with the body oil. Using body oils has literally changed my life. My skin is a lot softer and smoother, and I just love it. 
So next now we're going into a more potent and more essential oil because now that you have that layer of body oil, you want to go in with another layer. If you follow this routine, I kid you not, you will smell like a warm vanilla sugar cookie. You smell so good and so delicious and just people are just going to like, uh, you're going to love you, literally. So I use this warm vanilla body oil that me and my friends discovered. This is from Amazon and it's literally $11. I kid you not, this tiny little thing is so potent. People use this to make candles. People use it to make soaps. People use it to make like um, other body care products. So it is safe to use on your skin. I was kind of scared about that, I can't lie. But I love this product so much. It smells amazing. Like once you put it on, it's just, it just, uh, it's such an overwhelmingly good scent that I don't even know how to put it in words. Just know people around me always compliment me when I use this. So I really love using this warm sugar, warm vanilla sugar body oil. So I put that in the spots where I put my perfumes, which is usually around my neck area, my wrist, in between my elbows, all that stuff. And then after that, that's when I then go in with a layer of perfume. I like to put on my perfumes while my body's still wet or moist and also before I do my hair or my makeup or whatever just because I like my perfumes to kind of settle in and I like them to kind of take the natural oils of my body and just kind of like, you know, get together and do a thing. This is my favorite like everyday scent but it definitely does smell like candy and vanilla. So it has notes of candied pear, sweet violet, bubblegum, white caramel, rock sugar, and vanilla cream. So we're gonna spray in the key perfume spots behind your knees. So yeah, scents that work for you, finding scents that work for you is actually very important. Finding scents that work for your pheromones, for me, it's definitely lavender and vanilla, and now that I know that, I stick with it and I really don't try to switch it up. So, sometimes you have to experiment and see what lasts for you, but most people, I've noticed, most girls, they prefer scents that are vanilla, citrus, scents that are kind of soft, nothing too strong, and then, you know, you can advance to the more mature, grown scents. <laughs> and this year, I really became a perfume girly. And I've learned what lasts on my skin. So some of my favorite perfumes are the Valentino Born in Roma, the green one. That one's really good. I also have really been into Arabian perfumes also because they're cheaper and they just last a lot longer. So I will list all my favorite perfumes right now in the description box if you want to check those out as well. So other than our in shower and out of shower routine there are also a couple other tips and tricks that i like to use to just make sure that i am smelling good all day long the first one of course is always having a travel size perfume i know this isn't something that a lot of people think of but even if it's just like a roll-on body oil or just like a really small travel size perfume having that in my purse just always makes me know like okay no matter what i can always like add a little bit more perfume if i need to I always have gum with me just in case I need to freshen up my breath. Something that I really used to do back in the day was take an extra pair of underwear maybe to school or if I'm going somewhere where I know I'm going to be sweating or doing a lot of like working out and stuff, I'll just have like an extra pair of fresh underwear just to change so that way like if I'm sweating I just feel a lot cleaner and I don't know, it really did make a big difference for me. Another one is your hair. So a lot of people forget that like yes you're taking care of your body and you're putting on your perfumes and all that stuff but your hair also like has odor so make sure you're washing your hair and if you're using a lot of oils I know for me with my braids whenever I use a lot of peppermint oil or jojoba oil or Jamaica black castor oil my hair has like a very weird smell so I try to not avoid but I try to use lighter oils on my hair now if I'm trying to be like you know conscious of how it's gonna smell so I've switched to using just peppermint oil grapeseed oil um, oils that are just light you know because it will especially if you have braids finding scents that work for you is actually very important finding scents that work for your pheromones for me it's definitely lavender and vanilla and now that I know that I stick with it and I really don't try to switch it up sometimes you have to experiment and see what lasts for you but most people I've noticed most girls they prefer scents that are vanilla, citrus, scents that are kind of soft, nothing too strong, and then you know you can advance to the more mature grown scents. <laughs> and this year I really became a perfume girly. 
and I've learned what lasts on my skin. So some of my favorite perfumes are the Valentino Born in Roma, the green one. That one's really good. I also have really been into Arabian perfumes also because they're cheaper and they just last a lot longer. So I will list all my favorite perfumes right now in the description box if you want to check those out. Other than our in shower and out of shower routine, there are also a couple other tips and tricks that I like to use to just make sure that I am smelling good all day long. The first one of course is always having a travel size perfume. Even if it's just like a roll on body oil or just like a really small travel size perfume, having that in my purse just always makes me know like okay no matter what I can always like add a little bit more perfume if I need to. I always have gum with me just in case I need to freshen up my breath. Something that I really used to do back in the day was take an extra pair of underwear maybe to school or if I'm going somewhere where I know I'm going to be sweating or doing a lot of like working out and stuff, I'll just have like an extra pair of fresh underwear just to change so that way like if I'm sweating I just feel a lot cleaner and I don't know, it really did make a big difference for me. Number one is your hair. So a lot of people forget that like yes you're taking care of your body and you're putting on your perfumes and all that stuff but your hair also like has odor so make sure you're washing your hair and if you're using a lot of oils I know for me with my braids I make a black castor oil my hair has like a very weird smell so I try to not avoid but I try to use lighter oils on my hair now if I'm trying to be like you know conscious of how it's gonna smell so I've switched to using just peppermint oil grapeseed oil um, oils that are just light, you know, because it will, especially if you have braids, those scents will like latch onto your hair. But if you are like very specific about your oils and you don't feel like changing your oils, I have something for you, Buki. So I love using hair mist. I got introduced to this when I went to a Kaylee event, and I kid you guys not, this thing smells so good. Like I'll be sitting on my bed and I'm just like, oh, my hair smells so good. So this is the Kaylee hair mist. There are other literally so many brands of hair mist but i really just love kaylee i love all her scents they just smell so good so i use this literally every single day like i'll put it in my hair right before i leave and my hair just smells good so it's just like your hair smells good your body smells good if your clothes are clean your clothes smell good all together cohesively you're gonna smell amazing duh so yes make sure that your hair is smelling good too because a lot of people forget that and obviously make sure that like your hair ties are fresh because those also hold smells i'm sorry it's just like the littlest things hold smells your hair ties your nails so make sure like you're washing your hands really well whenever you like do stuff throughout the day always making sure your hands are clean and that really does help with just overall hygiene and smelling really good and if you are going to have a very long day and you need to stay fresh and odorless all day long, deodorant is your friend. I know I say I don't really wear deodorant like that, but if it's a day where I know I'm going to be sweating a lot, obviously I'm going to wear deodorant. So I like the Truly Cocoa Cloud deodorant because this one just doesn't irritate my armpits. I just I have just very sensitive armpits, so I have to be really careful. And then of course, I love the Secret. This is the original dry spray because I just don't like it to have that like white stuff that deodorant has so I use that some other tips and tricks for your armpits is whenever I'm in the shower I scrub my armpits down okay like when I say with the scrub like I'm scrubbing my armpits always make sure that not always because I know sometimes we forget I forget to shave my armpits so I can't lie but if you can remember keep your armpits shaved because that way if your armpits are shaved then it's just less older and the hairs of course collect older they collect moisture and all that stuff so keeping your armpits shaved and also keeping your armpits exfoliated getting rid of all that dry skin keeping it clean and yeah that is all i have for you today of course as my routine changes i will keep updating you but right now that is my go-to summer routine for when i'm showering and of course my out of shower routine as well guys If you have any questions about hygiene, I know I didn't get into skincare and all that stuff. That'll probably be for another video. I really wanted to focus on the shower routine. But if you have any questions, just feel free to ask me down below. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, and also, of course, I'm going to list all of these products down below. So that way you're able to just get them either through my Amazon storefront, my LTK, just whatever. I will make sure that this is easily accessible to you. And thank you guys so much for watching. God bless you and have a great rest of your day.